Hello and welcome to Tech News. The top tech news for week 22 of 2021 will cover AMD's partnership with Samsung, Graphene find its atomic cousin, some Apple TV news, a tech breakup, and some exciting news from the world of gaming, and some more. Researchers at the University of Marburg in Germany and Alto University in Finland have discovered a new carbon network which is atomically thin like graphene, but is made up of squares, hexagons and octagons, forming an ordered lattice. For example, graphene with a thickness of just one atomic layer is the thinnest known material and its unusual properties makes it an extremely exciting candidate for applications like future electronics and high-tech engineering. In graphene, each carbon atom is linked to three neighbors, forming a hexagon arranged in a honeycomb network. Back to the news, researchers confirmed the unique structure of the new carbon network using high-resolution scanning probe microscopy and interestingly found that its electronic properties are very different from those of graphene. In contrast to graphene and other forms of carbon, the newly discovered biophenylene network, as the new material is named, has metallic properties. This means that this newly discovered carbon network could be used to make wires of carbon-based circuits in the future and could also serve as a superior anode material in lithium-ion batteries with a larger lithium storage capacity compared to that of the current uh, graphene-based materials. Mobile gaming is about to get exciting as AMD is planning to bring the RDNA 2 graphene architecture which is currently used in high-end consoles such as the Xbox X and the PlayStation 5 to phones. RDNA in this context stands for Radeon DNA. It is the code name for a GPU microarchitecture and accompanying instruction set architecture developed by AMD. AMD is partnering with Samsung to provide RDNA 2 graphic technology for Samsung's Exynos processors, potentially giving a boost to GPU performance. There aren't many details on the chip or which product it will be used in, but AMD has indicated that the GPU will use its RDNA 2 architecture, enabling features like ray tracing and variable rate shading capabilities. It is estimated that the new technology would make its way to Samsung's flagship mobile devices in 2022. There is more exciting news in the world of gaming. The Crisis game are some of the most significant and influential shooters of the modern era. Infamous for their technical prowess, these games served as a benchmark for many high-end PCs in the late 2000s and early 2010s. Now, the series is being thrust back into the spotlight with Crisis Remastered Trilogy. After a delay last year, Crytek has announced that Crisis Remastered Trilogy is coming to PC and consoles this fall. You'll be able to pick up the reworked versions of all the three games separately. Crytek says that the games will run even smoother on PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. Apple has announced that its Apple TV app is now available for Android TV OS, bringing Apple TV Plus content to more devices. The announcement was made on Apple TV's Twitter account, which gave no further details. The new listing in the Google Play Store states that the only requirement is for devices to be running Android 8, also known as Android Oreo, or later. It's almost as if Apple realized that doing things the Apple way wasn't going to be a successful model for competing in the streaming wars and that it needed to play nice with other device makers if it wanted to grow Apple TV Plus subscriptions in any meaningful way. In other breaking news, it looks like the nearly two decade long relationship between eBay and PayPal has quietly come to a close. This week, eBay quietly updated its terms of service to let sellers know that pretty soon, any funds they rake in will no longer be credited to their PayPal accounts. If sellers wanted to keep getting paid, any funds will need to be deposited directly into their bank account. eBay have not explicitly mentioned that these revised managed payment comes with a brand new processing fee, plus a certain fraction of whatever price an item is ultimately sold for. 
Having said that, eBay is promising sellers that whatever cut eBay ultimately takes will usually be lower than the roughly 13% they're currently forking over to both eBay and PayPal combined. Like it or not, the moment has passed. Google Photos has ended its free unlimited storage as on June 1st, 2021. Any photos you upload, including compressed storage safe pictures, counts towards your Google Drive storage limit, unless it comes from a Pixel phone, or if you've backed up your phone before the due date. If you need more space, you'll have to now purchase Google One plans that start at $2 per month for 100 GB of drive space and scale to 2 TB for $10 per month. Google explained the move last November as a necessary step to keep pace with the demands for storage. It didn't expect 80% of photo users to hit the cap for another three years. Although it's more of an issue for people whose free drive space has already loaded with other content. These were the top tech news for week 22 of 2021. Next week, along with the weekly update from the tech world, I will also be covering a separate video on top 10 announcements and key takeaways from Apple's 2021 World Developer Conference. So a sub to this channel would be a smart move. Thanks for watching. See you next week.